Hi everybody, it's Hassan Shah from Cardboard World and today we're going to be going over the process of adding black details or the sluggish robotic effect uh, to a prop. Uh, this is a bumblebee mask that I made as you can see and before we were adding the details uh, as you can see this looked like it came out of the factory just now uh, and I didn't want to have that effect to it I wanted to add the details and the sluggish blackish effect to it uh, as per the movie and that's why I thought that I should make a video of uh, telling you guys that how we can achieve that effect and do let me know if I am I was able to achieve that effect and if you have um, you know if you got any satisfaction from this video that I made so uh, what I'm doing right now is that I'm making uh, the effect with the black acrylic paint uh, with a thick brush. I'm going over each and every detail, especially the ones in the silver. And I'm going to be uh, making sure that uh, I cover 90% of the mask uh, with this black color. It's already diluted. It's not 100% acrylic. Uh, it is diluted with water to uh, make sure that we can later wipe off any excess that we have left on the mask. So uh, about this build, um, this was a commission that I had from one of my friends and you know, uh, midway he had a change of mind and you know, we had to do something else for him. Uh, it was a year ago and you know uh, this mask was just lying around and uh, I wanted to do a video for my YouTube channel and I wanted to make sure that I have something good so I cleaned it up and you know uh, here it is and as you can see now wh what I'm doing is that I'm actually applying uh, the black uh, acrylic to each and every joint each and every seam uh, on the on the mask to make sure that uh, once I wipe the excess off each and every seam and each and every bend, each and every detail of the mask gets highlighted. As you can see that I'm wiping uh, the excess off uh, from the first layer uh, but honestly we're going to be going over a lot of black as we go ahead because we want to have that movie effect and in that movie uh, the bumblebee mask is not clean at all it doesn't have that usual wear and tear it has a lot of wear and tear a lot of slug on it a lot of oil and a lot of uh, dirt on it so we want to have that effect and in order to achieve that we need to apply a lot of black which we're going to be doing as we go ahead In certain areas, I might actually apply two layers of black to show a solid black base color because as you can see, the silver that I've used before as a base uh, is a little lighter than uh, what it should be. So uh, 
each and every part that has silver on it uh, will actually get two layers and uh, the yellow will just get one layer. Okay guys, so as you can see that I've uh, started doing hard black now. I'm trying to cover each and every detail, each and every part, each and every seam, and you know, each and every detail that I've put uh, on this mask. Uh, so even the bottom and from the side, from the top, each and every side, I'm trying to cover each and everything. You know, turning this yellow mask into black, uh, but, but please don't worry about it because you know, uh, at the end we're gonna be wiping it off and you know, the excess black will be taken off. So, uh, what I'm trying to do over here is to just cover each and everything from inside out so if someone holds the mask in the hand, they don't actually see any part that's been left behind. Okay guys, we're reaching the final part of the video. Uh, as you can see that I'm pretty much done with the black. Uh, now we actually have the wiping part to do. So as you can see that I've started wiping uh, the excess of black with the damp clothes and uh, you can see that it's looking very nice so far. I'm cleaning all the black uh, that I do not need and I'm leaving the ones in the joints, in the details, uh, which actually give it a very good effect of wear and tear. And uh, this pretty much looks very nice. Now we're gonna be going into the electronic part of the build. I'm gonna be uh, adding these LED eyes to the mask, which I'll tell you how uh, I made. Uh, this is uh, coming from these lights. The projectile that I've used inside uh, the mask is from uh, these uh, LED household lights. So let's go ahead and connect these to the to the mask. So we got to make sure that these lights are completely aligned, and uh, they also leave a little bit of space in between the eyes from where we can see outside. Uh, so I'm just going to be applying a little bit of glue uh, to the top and the bottom of uh, each eye and just hold it in position and uh, try to make sure that there is no excess glue uh, that can run on the surface of the mask which will actually ruin the effect. Uh, now I'm going to be going for the right eye and doing the same that to make sure that it's completely aligned with the left one. I'm going to be super gluing it and uh, so far it's looking very good and we just gotta wait till uh, the eye is uh, connected so we can turn on the lights. Okay guys, so we're gonna be using a little bit of more uh, super glue to hold the eye in place. Now let's just turn on the lights. Uh, this looks very cool with the lights turned on. The black and the shiny yellow looks awesome. And so far I'm quite happy with the build. I don't think there's anything else that's needed so far. The back looks okay, the front looks okay. Uh, the close up looks okay. And I wanna say here is that, you know, if you think that uh, I could have done something better, do let me know. I would love to hear your point of view on this uh, uh, effect that I've tried to achieve and uh, that's pretty much it. Well, I would like to thank you once again for watching the video and uh, please do like and share the videos and subscribe to my channel 
And if you have any questions, do let me know.